Hello everyone. Today we're out at the farm. We're going to get a horse and I'm going to show you guys something that I installed on my wife's truck for her to help her keep an eye on the horse as she's traveling. She's starting to do a lot more of that now. And that's a problem that seems to happen a lot whenever you're pulling a trailer with horses or other animals in it. You always wonder how they're doing. You wonder how they're getting along back there and if everything's okay. The problem is you really can't see them. So I was contacted by this company called Halo View, and uh, they asked if I would be interested in trying something like this out, and I told them yes, I most certainly would be. Now this is a 7-inch monitor with a remote camera, and the camera runs off of uh, 12 volts, so you can connect it to 12 volts either on the truck or the trailer, wherever you're putting your camera. And then the monitor runs off of 12 volts as well, it's as easy as plugging into a cigarette lighter. I've been using this for a few months now. Whenever I get stuff like this, I like to try it out and use it for a few months before I go making videos of it and recommending it to everyone, but I can say that I've been happy with it. Thank you, Halo View, for sending me this product. Let's get on with the video and I'll show you guys how I set it up and we'll see how it works. So as I mentioned earlier, this camera is usually for putting on the back of a trailer or a back of a truck so you can see in back of it. But we decided to do something a little different. We wanted to mount the camera inside of her horse trailer so my wife can keep an eye on her horses while she's driving. As you can see, this is a seven inch monitor here. It was really easy to install and it comes with the little cigarette lighter plug here. I wanted to set it up in such a way that still looked neat and tidy. Rather than having all this wiring run down over the dash and get in the way of everything, kind of like this aux cord does, what I did was remove the little rubber cover here and then I just took a drill bit, drilled a hole through the plastic piece there. The Halo View monitor actually has a rubber grommet already installed on the, the wiring here, which I like. So it looks clean. It's a good clean install. It looks like it was made for it. The wire runs from the monitor here down into the dash of the truck. Drilled a little hole here, ran the wire through there. And now we have a push button on, push button off to turn the monitor here on and off. Now some of you may have seen the video of the ultimate trailer tow package I installed on my dad's F-250. And while that's nice, this takes it a step further because this camera is wireless. With my dad's trailer, I had to run a wire all the way from the back of the truck to the very back of the trailer. That was pretty labor intensive. However, with this one being wireless, all you have to do is connect power to it. So let me show you where I got the power from. I took this little panel off here, which exposes the trailer wiring lights, okay? So right up at the top here, there is a running light that is on, has 12 volts whenever the headlights or the parking lights on the truck are turned on and the trailer lights are connected. Right here, this is just a little ground screw, which then connects to this little eyelet. And then I ran the screw down and now we have ground. So our power and ground comes from here. The wire runs along this little rail up here and then it connects to the camera right here. So there's the camera. We wanted to position it in such a way so that even if she has her divider in here, you can still see both horses just fine. We thought about putting it in front, but the problem with that was the divider got in the way and you really couldn't see the horse's heads, which is what you want to keep an eye on. So we mounted the camera back here, and as you'll see, it does give us a good shot and a good view of both horses that are in the trailer here. This is Cruz. He's seven years old, off the track thoroughbred, meaning he used to race. He's in our hands, and I'm teaching him how to jump. So he's learning a second career. It's really easy to see how the horse moves in the trailer and how the driving affects their movement. So it really has made me slow down when taking turns because you can really see how they have to shift their weight or shift the way that they're standing in order to balance on four legs because they're living cargo. They're not just boxes that'll stay exactly where you put them. They're going to shift around in a way that they have to balance and stay comfortable so you've got to take turns really slow you can't accelerate through the turn like you do when driving normally you've got to wait till the trailer finishes the turn before you accelerate otherwise they're trying to balance 
in the turn and then you hit the gas in there dealt with that as well so you've got to make sure that you accelerate after the trailers finished turning to give them a chance to balance through the turn and then regain their balance before you accelerate one thing i like about this setup too is the camera actually has a microphone as well so you can hear you know the trailer rattling things like that it sounds a lot louder than it actually is back there but the microphone is quite sensitive but that way too if the horse is having trouble pawing or you know if they were to slip or fall then you'd for sure hear that or if for whatever reason that divider came loose we'd know that for sure because that'd make a lot of noise and we'd go back and re-secure if we were on a long trip then i'd have like a hay net hung for him and i'd just keep an eye on the hay make sure he's got hay I actually kind of see I was doing a lot of hauling over the summer and you could see how sweaty they'd get so if you needed to stop and offer them water or make sure the vents and everything are open to help them stay a little bit cooler in the summer months. Now it's a little cooler so I'm not as concerned about that but you can see we're on kind of a windy road and he's just continually shifting his weight. I want to make sure that there's like he doesn't get himself tangled up in the rope so you tie the rope so he can move his head but you also don't want it to get wrapped around his neck, of course, or anything like that. So you just keep an eye on how his head is with the rope there. Usually if a horse falls, you can feel the trailer rattle. Um, but this would help you know for sure, you know, that they're down, what the situation is. Generally, if that happens, you want to just get to your destination as quickly as possible so you can assess the situation there. So it's definitely made me a better trailer driver, seeing how it affects the horse. And with him... The first couple trips we took, I had that middle divider closed, but he was really cramped in there. And so we figured, well, if we open it, he's got more room to shift around, stay a little more comfortable, and that seemed to have helped him haul a little bit better. So this definitely made me more aware of, you know, I thought I was a good trailer driver, but then seeing this is, it has made me an even better trailer driver, seeing how slow you really do have to take the turns and how slow you have to accelerate and brake, and it's really actually been pretty fascinating to see how they move back there, because you, you, I mean, you don't know unless you see it, or unless you've ridden in a trailer yourself, but it's not something most people do is ride in their own trailer, so. There's excessive pawing, stomping, um, you know, maybe little half rears, or a lot of shaking, you know, shaking himself off, or trying to reach around and bite at his belly or like that you know he's shifting around a lot but that's because the road we're on is kind of curvy and that but now can you feel the horse moving around back there a little bit yeah when you hook up to a horse trailer with two horses in it can oh. you feel it back there oh yeah yeah it's a lot heavier now with two horses we'd put the divider in to keep the horses separate a little bit because you don't want, you know, you want there to be a little buffer in between the two horses. With the little pony, we put the divider in just because she's little and she doesn't need, you know, the divider gave ample room for her to be in the pony, but since he's quite a bit bigger, then we leave it open for him. Now, there are a lot of other cool things that you can do with this camera that I don't have set up. You can expand the system with more cameras so maybe in the future here we've thought about putting a camera on the back of the trailer to help back up the trailer when it's connected to the truck there's also an option to put a camera on the back of the truck to make hooking up to the trailer easier there's also if you want to get into the wiring a little bit more you can tie in the reverse function of the vehicle to a certain camera so when you place a transmission into reverse the camera on the back of the trailer or the back of the truck whatever comes on and then when you take it back out of reverse that camera disappears so you get a better view of the inside of your trailer here and anyway i hope you guys found this video interesting this has been something my wife has really enjoyed and benefited from and again thanks to halo view for sending this to us and having us try it out we like it maybe we'll expand with another camera here or so but we're pretty happy with it You got it? Yeah, there you go.
Good job.